Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel and your weekly love reading. This reading is for August 2nd to the 8th. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate with you, leave what don't. If it does resonate and you want to continue this reading and dive in deeper, there is an extended link in the description, feel free to check that out. And for anybody interested in personal readings, there is links and information in the description for that also. So I'm going to begin your reading with a card from the Moonology deck, just as a message from the universe for you in regards to your love life for the week ahead, and then we'll get into your tarot. So Pisces, what do you need to know about your love life for August 2nd to the 8th? August 2nd to the 8th, Pisces. Wow. Okay, so you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Well, this is good to know, isn't it? You and your loved ones are safe. So everything's all good here. You don't need to worry about anything. If you're, if you're worried about something, you don't need to worry. You and your loved ones are safe. Everything's all good. Which is quite nice because this frees up your space and your energy. You don't need to worry about anyone. Let's see what's going on with your love life. Okay, recent past energy surrounding your love life. Present energy surrounding your love life. Near future energy surrounding your love life. The energy that's guiding you right now, something you need to know, your energy and your person's energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Rods. So there is a new beginning here, maybe a new venture for you, maybe a new cycle is beginning, um, a new journey for you. If you've been worried maybe about people and this and this has kind of held you back a bit, maybe this is a message, this, your loved ones are safe, to encourage you to really kind of keep going and exploring um, whatever you're being guided or whatever pathway you're being guided towards right now. But we'll see here, recent past energy surrounding your love life, we've got the sun. So there's a connection here. There is harmony, there is a soul connection, there is happiness, there is joy. Um, there is a connection here, a soul connection. Feeling each other. There is an energy between you and a person um, that's, beyond, that's beyond your control, really. It's like literally... You, this is an energetic connection. Present energy, we've got a Ten of Cups. So here, you're feeling great. Everything in your family life, um, a connection that you have, relationships that you have, is all good. Everything's wonderful here. I'm getting this is more so family right now. Family is all good. Everything's wonderful with your family. There has been a harmonious kind of completion to a cycle of healing okay and everything's wonderful here you've completed it everybody is in a great position and this cycle is kind of being completed right now so everything feels great near future energy this is where you're going on your new journey here and you don't need to worry about anyone especially if you've been through quite a lot emotionally right now everything's all good okay and you need to just know that to be able to embark on this new journey that you're going on. You need to trust that everyone's all good so you can have that freedom and allow yourself to go and explore whatever it is that you're needing to explore, have this new beginning. The energy that is guiding you is the seven of rods. So you might feel a bit nervous. You might feel the need to protect people who you're connected to, family members, um, your loved ones, you might feel the need to protect them and stay and, and not, and not, and kind of like resist this new beginning um, because you might be in maybe some type of dutiful energy or, 
wanting to keep things great and wanting to protect everybody, wanting to defend what's yours. Something you need to know, we've got the Four of Wands here. So this could be Twin Flame Energy. This could be Happy Home. If this is just about Happy Home and Harmony Within Home, you don't need to defend it. You don't need to worry because you, what you'll actually do is manifest issues. By being in that energy and nervous and, you know, on edge or feeling defensive, like you want to protect your family, you're manifesting something that you'll need to protect them from. So you need to relax and trust the journey and allow it because there is something new coming in for you. If this is Twin Flame, then you're entering a new stage of your Twin Flame journey. Your energy is the Eight of Swords. So there's something, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling trapped. I feel like you're feeling obligated. I feel like you're feeling obligated. You're feeling responsible. You're feeling like you you need to keep everything together for everybody and you're obligated to that and you're bound to that and that that is restricting on your freedom and you're being the universe is trying to lead you away from that here and wants you to explore your freedom a little bit more your person's energy is death there's a change going on with your person um this could be somebody you're connected with here it could be a different person um to be honest i don't feel like this person is um involved in this ten of pentacles here with you i feel like this is your family this is like family situations here um or close relationships everything's kind of all good right now i feel like your person is going through a big transformation in their life this could be this person that you've known in the past, that this energetic connection. Because I am picking up Twin Flame vibes for you. I can't remember the last time I haven't picked up Twin Flame vibes for you. But this is, your person could be going through something quite big here. But you're about to embark on a big journey. So I'm going to take this to the extended and see where it is you're going. What it is you're going to be going into next. Um, where the universe is going to be taking you. What you're going to be exploring next. Um, I'm going to kind of have a look here of what is going on with your person. Obviously the usual, how they feel about you, what they want, you know, all of that usual. I'm going to see why you're resistant and how you can best help yourself because you are going on a, an exciting new journey. But I just feel like it's to do with obligation here to family that commitment, ensuring that everyone's okay. But anyway, I'm going to take it to the extended. Feel free to join me if this resonates. If you want to see more, the link is in the description. If not, thanks for watching, guys. And get excited for your new journey and try to relax, you know. Everything's all good. Don't stress out. Don't try to resist this change that's coming in. Your confirmation is you and your loved ones are safe. So definitely embrace whatever's coming towards you. So thanks guys, take care, have a wonderful week and I will see you on the next one.